Okay, uh, let's move on to resolution 4-14. Resolution 4-14 adopts the rules of procedure and organization of the Council of the County of Hawaii, reference communication 1, introduced by Mr. Kanuha. Can I have a motion to adopt resolution 4-14? So moved. Second. It's been moved by Ms. Willie, seconded by Mr. Ilagon. Uh, Ms. Willie, you have the floor. Yes. Um, I want to say that I appreciate that we are uh, retaining our same rules for the time being so that um, rule changes will be done in public here at, with public participation and public comments. Um, previously, it, they were part of the organizational um, meeting and we decided on new rules and voted those in. Um, and I do have some amendments that I'm planning to make, little nudges and nuances here and there, but I just want to say that I um, appreciate that everyone on the council was agreeable that we do changes in public and engage, uh, allow for public comments on those. So um, that's, uh, thank you, I yield. Thank you, Ms. Willie. Any other discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That's nine in favor. Resolution 4-14 is adopted. Okay, we'll move on to communications, Mr. Make a motion to reconsider resolution 4-14. If I can get a second. Resolution 4-14 is adoptions of rules and procedures. What are you asking for? Could I move I'm for sorry. a reconsideration of resolution 4-14? Is that a motion? Question. But is, is that a motion though? Is it's a that's motion. a motion. Is there any second? If second. not, we're going to move on. Second. Okay. Um, uh, Ms. If I may, the, yeah. on the reconsideration. The reason why I'm doing a reconsideration is from what Margaret Willie, Council Member Willie just mentioned, is that there's no changes on the rules of procedures. But I'm looking over the rules and procedures and I there are some changes. I want to make sure that we didn't just adopt um, any rules that wasn't made previously. And the reason why I bring this up is because I don't want to start off in the wrong foot for our first council. If there are changes on these rules of procedures, then I would recommend postponing this to another matter and then we can have um, more of a debate if there were any changes. But if this was from before, then my reconsideration, I would withdraw that. However, if there are any changes within these rules, then I would open the reconsideration and then do a postponement on another council uh, day so we can have more discussion on those rules. But I just want to emphasize that I don't want to start off on the wrong foot and I don't want to adopt any rules that the public has not been aware of. And I just want to make this motion in that precaution because I went and referred back to our old rules. I see some changes. And I'm sorry to be a party pooper for this. I just feel like it's my responsibility as a council member to do this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Iligan. There is a motion to reconsider the vote. If you could clear it up, I'm not sure if I'm wrong or if I'm right. There's right now we're on the motion to reconsider. So we'll just go with the reconsideration. Uh, Mr. Clerk. Well, are we in discussion mode yet? Yeah, we're in discussion. Could I make a comment? Sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm, and could I address this to Mr. Uh, Illigan or either the chair? You know, uh, Mr. Chairman, I voted in favor of the motion previously uh, based on the representations made by Ms. Willie that there were no, no changes. Now, uh, 
I don't know if I should be addressing Mr. Ilegan to see what he's seen or if I should be asking the introducer of this if there are in fact any changes because if there are I certainly would like to know what they are because this is not ramsiered or anything and I'm just assuming no, there are no changes. I, I would hope that for my okay, I'll go. I would hope that everybody had a chance to read the rules of procedure first. I know there was um, Yeah. We'll take a brief recess. <laughs> Where is it? Okay, so I'm looking at it. This is it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> everybody, re everybody ready? Okay, <laughs> we're out of recess. Um, discussion on the reconsideration. What? Well, well, I. S do I still have the floor? I still haven't gotten an answer as to whether any changes were made. And I, Mr. Chairman, respectfully, I, I know you said that you know we're all uh, obligated to read the rules prior to this meeting, but you know, I don't think without it being ramsaired, there's no way to tell what new and what's old mm -hmm. unless there are no changes as we had previously thought so mr. chairman at you as you know the introducer if you could just say it's there's no changes or right. if there are some changes explain what they are and then, then we can make a decision on this okay I consulted uh, can I may I have the floor sure I consulted with our our soon to be deputy clerk about the possible changes and there were um, there were there was an amendment that went through then that's when it changed um, these rules of procedure but you know it wasn't meant to be that way and so you know I can just explain the, the amendment currently right now but I told him I told the staff to go change it back to how originally it was right so that we can all move forward with this uh, the rules of procedure and then we can go through with amendments at a later date. Mr. Chung. So what are we going to do now? We are going to table this until... Okay. Is that okay with staff if we table this until the end? Okay. It's fine. Yeah. If that's okay with the council. Mr. Poleko. One question. So I'm just... Um, so our standing rules would be our, <coughs> the old rules we had before these were these amended rules. Right. Ms. Willie. I want to thank um, Council Member Ilgon for bringing this up. I did not read these rules, and I did not expect to have to read these rules since that are the five of us that were present at the organizational meeting decided we would not be making any amendments. I did have some amendments I wanted to bring um, and preferred, as we're now doing, to bring them where there would be public, dis the public would be able to weigh in on those and um, promote open government and transparency. So I have no idea idea what's been changed here and I definitely would have been upset regardless of what it was um, so um, council member Gregor Ilgun thank you very much I appreciate this thank you miss Willie mr. Ilgun thank you mr. chair if I made as the point of procedure, do we need to open up resolution 4-14 and then table it? Or do we, um, since it's already passed right now, should we, could I ask the... You're, you're, you're currently, you had a motion to reconsider Okay. on the table, okay. which was seconded. And right now, I just wanted to ask what would be the best way to do this? Because if... Um, if we can just move along and get on with our um, appointments, I would be more than happy to get that going. 
Miss Willie. I didn't understand that. Uh, are you saying that we table this so that we vote on it afterwards? Uh, are we go? Are we so approving our rules as they currently exist, not as whatever is in here? My understanding, it's already had been voted in, so we have adopted these rules. The only way to be able to reverse that is to reconsider it. Yep. So right. we open it back up and then we table it right. till okay. later or we postpone it till later. So, so I just want to say I support that. I already made the motion. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to be clear on what Thank it was. Thank you, Ms. Willie. Mr. Ilagon still has the floor. I, I just want to say um, if we could get that going and let's move on. Okay. Ms. Poindexter. I, I was going to I'll, I'll wait for everybody to, because uh, I was going to call for the question to reconsider, yeah. motion That's to reconsider. Right. Okay, so call for the question. Second. Okay, uh, a motion has been to call the question. Mr. Clerk. On the motion to reconsider. Mr. Chung? Aye. Ms. David? Aye. Ms. Yoff? Aye. Mr. Ilegan? Aye. Mr. Onishi? Aye. Mr. Poleka? Aye. Ms. Poindexter? Aye. Ms. Willie? Chair Kanua? Aye. Chair Kanua, we have nine eyes on call for the question for the reconsideration. Thank you. So, motion for reconsideration passes. Now, oh, sorry, that was a call for the question. Now, for the motion to reconsider. Mr. Chan? Aye. Ms. David? Aye. Ms. Yaw? Aye. Mr. Ligon? Aye. Mr. Onishi? Aye. Mr. Paleka? Aye. Ms. Poindexter? Aye. Ms. Willie? Aye. Chair Kanuha. Aye. Chair Kanuha, you have nine ayes for the motion to reconsider. Uh, thank you, Mr. Clerk. Uh, Mr. Ilagan. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move to table resolution 4 14 till the end of the day. Okay. Thank you. It's been moved by Mr. Ilagan, seconded by Ms. Eoff. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Clerk. Oh, Mr. Onishi, sorry. Um, Mr. Chair, I just had a question to the clerk because um, these are our rules, right? And so the rules that we had before was past council's rules so if we don't pass something today we don't have any rules correct mr clerk that is correct so we'll just be going without rules we're tabling it to the end of the yeah. session we're going to adopt them before we're going to we're going to adopt them today okay or well not what you requesting where no. we're going to go to like the 17th no Okay. 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 Thanks. Thank you. Okay. It's been uh, the motion to table uh, with by Mr. Ilgan seconded. Uh, Mr. Clerk. Mis Mr. Chung. Ms. David. Aye. Ms. Eoff. Mr. Ilgan. Aye. Mr. Onishi. Mr. Paleka. Aye. Ms. Poindexter. Aye. Ms. Willie. Aye. Chair Kanuha. Aye. Chair Kanuha, you have nine ayes. It's the motion to table. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Clerk, are we on resolution 10 dash? And I think we're still waiting for. Take a short recess. We'll have a short recess to wait for the amendment to come through. Recess. Are we good? Yeah. Yep. Jeff? Okay. We're calling this meeting back to order. And we're going to. Mr. Ilagan, we got to take the. Communication. No, sorry. We got to take resolution 4-14 off the table. So move. It's been moved by Mr. Ilagan, seconded by Mr. Onishi. Um, may I have a motion to amend resolution 4-14 with the contents of communication number 1.2? So moved. So, second. It's been moved by Ms. Eoff, seconded by Mr. Ilagan. Uh, any discussion? Ms. Well, um, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Mr. Ilagan. Um, thank you, staff. It, it appears that what we have before us now is an amendment to what we previously voted on, and this amendment would return um, this Rule 5 regarding committees back to the um, way we um, have it in our rules currently. And I'm just wanting to make sure that that's correct. Let's make sure again. So I don't have a copy of our current rules, Staff but I'm assuming that good. that's what this does. Mr. Hendricks? Okay. Okay. Thank Ms. you. 
Yeah. With oh, do we vote too? Yes. Oh, oh sorry. No. We voted to remove. We voted to remove from the table, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Um, any other discussion, Miss Willie? Well, I'd like to first ask a question: How this came about? That this amendment was made after my understanding was the decision we would not make amendments. That's my first question. I have got another, but if someone could answer that, I don't know whether it's for you, Chair, or someone else. Sure, I'll answer. Um, sometimes, you know, some people might make some amendments, and I think it might have went gone through. So that's kind of how this one ended up. Who? Someone, one of the council members proposed this? Well, it got put on to the, our rules of procedure. I'm just asking as a, as how. Without, it's not without an amendment, because when we start the rules of procedure, when we originally submit it, it that's the rules of procedure. That's how it, so that's how it, um, it could have gotten um, okay. submitted. But at our organizational meeting, we decided we would not do amendments until they were before the public. So my question is, how did this happen? Because if Council Member Lilligan had not asked for that reconsideration, I would have been voting for something that I had no idea I was voting for. And in fact, I object to this amendment and I dislike it. So I just want to know, how can something like this happen so that I don't worry about that this kind of thing happens again. So thank, who thank, put thank, it through? Thank you, thank you, Miss Willie. Okay. Thank you. Can you explain it to me? I just tried to. So okay, if you but any, how? If you, can you please talk about the amendment itself? Yeah. Okay. Now I'll go We're on. Amending to, it back to the original. Yes. Yeah, so thing. my understanding of the amendment is what we had. One thing is that the um, the chairman of the committee shall receive all referrals and place them on the first available agenda. It's a done deal. Unless said chairperson determines that there are circumstances warranting holding it and with the concurrence of the originator so that I consider that respect for all of us as council members who've been voted in and that there's not someone, we're not putting council members in the position of chair of deciding that they don't, that they want to hold off on somebody else's, what they're proposing. And, um, you know, I, I'm very disturbed about this. So I would like to know, um, I certainly, um, disapprove and think we should vote it down and do not support this for two reasons. I think it, number one, it was underhanded, however this happened, intentional or not, and it's a very significant change. And um, two, I disagree with it where uh, you don't need the concurrence of the originator. I mean, I had one um, incident where despite this rule, it was um, something of mine was being postponed and I felt that that was wrong and we went back to this rule and it should have uh, included my concurrence. So um, procedurally, I'm and number two, I disagree with the substance of this men amendment. I think that it um, shows disrespect, would show disrespect to um, each individual member who has been voted on and elected here. So um, I stand and ask for, um, urge that we um, uh, deny or do not approve this amendment. Uh, Ms. Um, okay, thank you. I hope I could um, help Ms. Willie understand that what this communication 1.2 does is return the rule back okay. to how you would like okay, to see it. Okay, then what I should so say you is support. Say yes. Thank you. So okay. we should support this. And what I'm saying is um, oppose the change that was um, in the one that was in our boards, unknown at least to me. And I do admit I did not read it through and examine every word to know that. And I, I want to end with that I, again, appreciate Council Member Ilgan uh, raising this point. Thank you, Mr. Chung. Yeah, I, I, sub, I support the motion. Uh, you know, this is uh, very difficult to digest, you know, just you know, being given this and being asked to vote on this thing. And 
you know, review all of this without a few minutes. But I have to say that I share the same concerns that Miss Willie brought up. Because had Mr. Iligan not brought up the fact that there may have been changes, we would have just approved something. And, you know, as best I can tell, if unless I'm reading this incorrectly, these are substantive changes. And uh, all I would, you know, again, I support the motion, but uh, if we do bring it up again, I would ask that it be in a Ramsier format so that we can really take a look at it. The public has a chance to weigh in because from what I can tell, what, basically this says that the, the chairperson of a committee can hold a bill just like they do at the legislature. Correct or incorrect? Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, actually, you know, in concept, I might not be against something like that, you know, with certain conditions. But at the same time, I'm, I'm very troubled by the way this all came about. But, you know, still, yeah, this is a festive day, so let's kind of move on. Thank you, Mr. Chung. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor of amending resolution 4-14 with the contents of communication 1.2, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Resolution 4-14 has been amended. Um, any discussion on the amended resolution? See no other. Oh, Miss well, Yoff, yeah, sorry. Just one more time to state that um, by amending it, we're now back to our rules as we had adopted in the previous term. I hope so. Correct. Yes. Okay. As staff has indicated, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All in favor of resolution 4-14 as amended, say aye. Aye. Any aye. opposed? That is nine eyes. Resolution 4-14 is adopted. Motion to adjourn. It's been moved by Mr. Iligan, seconded by Mr. Onishi to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you guys.